With the release of World of Tanks 1.0, Wargaming are bringing some serious graphics to the table. And not a moment too soon that is. We at Awesome Epic Guys have been playing World of Tanks since 2011 and it has always felt that World of Tanks has been a bit behind when it comes to the graphics. But today that changes! Or a couple of days ago, depending on when this video will get released. <laughs> This might sound like great news to all World of Tanks PC players, but it seems that a large portion of the community is afraid that it won't be able to run World of Tanks with a new graphic engine. Wargaming have claimed that the graphics have increased, but not the system requirements. Is this really true? Today, we will find out! As the title and thumbnail of this video might have suggested, the PC we are using today is a true potato. There's actually a long history behind this PC. This PC replaced my laptop back in 2011, when I was in high school, where I met Swatch, and the channel Awesome Epic Guys was born. After a couple of years of valiant service, I realized that this PC was not really up for the task when it came to high resolution rendering and live streaming, so it was replaced with a newer platform that we are still using here today. When we upgraded to the newer platform, the old PC was given to a friend. You close followers will know him on Discord as Captain Smurf Fun. Yeah, th that guy. After a year or two when he was done with the PC and wanted to upgrade, I got it back again. And just in time because my brother-in-law started playing World of Tanks, so I gave the PC to him. And you will know this person as Wilhelmet on Discord. This system was very recently given back to me again after he upgraded the whole system as he wanted to be ready for the new World of Tanks graphic engine. And this is how our Minecraft server was born. That uh, eventually crashed. As you realize, this PC has been through a lot of shit, and it's still alive and kicking. But the question is, will this very old system handle World of Tanks 1.0? <laughs> so this system was first put together in 2011, and even back then it was considered a budget build. The PC has been slightly modified over the years, but the performance is about the same. Let's pop the hood of this baby boy and see what hides underneath. We got a dirt cheap Cooler Master chassis holding this build together. As a motherboard, we have a Gigabyte GA990XAUD3. Th that's a mouthful. As a processor, we got an AMD 965 clocked at 3.8 GHz. And this is cooled by a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo. I'm just amazed that this fan is still spinning after all these years. And as system memory, we got a 4 GB stick DDR3 clocked at 1600 MHz. Storage, we have a 500 GB mechanical hard drive. Woohoo! We got a 650 watt power supply, and as a graphics card, we have a GTX 660 from Gigabyte. Now, this card has seen a lot of action during the years. And to keep the whole chassis cool, we got a couple of 120mm fans. I wonder if this is enough for World of Tanks in 2018. We'll be running the game at 1920x1080 with a 60Hz refresh monitor. The operating system is Windows 10 64-bit. Let's boot up the game and see if the PC explodes. It, it didn't actually explode. Will you look at that, the new HD garage in its glory. Mm. Let's jump on over to the graphics settings. The game itself recommends us to be running at high settings. I'll be damned. Well, let's try it.
Well, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed. The Potato PC managed to keep above 60 frames per second at almost all times. It did occasionally drop below 60 frames per second when there was a lot of action going on around you, but eh. I can live with that. And now, for all you clickers out there, I'm gonna show you how this PC performs when playing artillery. The game performs just fine when playing artillery. During the recording in all these training rooms, the computer actually crashed a couple of times. And after some troubleshooting, I realized it was the lack of system memory that was causing it. I slapped in another 4GB of RAM that I had laying around, and that instantly solved the problem. So it appears that 4GB of system memory is bare minimum. So if you are either upgrading your current PC or buying a new one, I would definitely recommend 8GB of RAM or more. After all this testing, I also swapped out the mechanical hard drive for an SSD, and the computer felt like new again. So if you do have some extra money to spend, get an SSD over a mechanical hard drive. If you are planning to build a new rig or upgrading the one you already have, what kind of components would we recommend? The performance of your computer is usually determined by two major components. The processor and graphics card. Without going into too much detail, most i5 processors from Intel will run World of Tanks at max settings just fine. At least try and make sure that your processor has 4 cores or more, and that the cores are clocked as high as possible. When it comes to the graphics card, a GTX 1060, 3GB or 6GB is doing just fine, unless you are planning to play at higher resolutions of course. If you are either building a new PC or planning to upgrade the one you already have, First of all, make sure you have enough space in your chassis, and that you have a power supply that is strong enough. If getting new hardware isn't an option for you, then maybe you can try and overclock the components you already have. And when you're overclocking a PC, you generally talk about the processor and the graphics card. I did a video some time ago where I was showing you how to overclock your PC. If you're interested in checking it out, you can hit the card that appears in the top right. And I'll also provide a link in the video description. And now a short conclusion. I think that Wargaming have done an amazing job with the new graphics. And if my potato PC can run this game at high settings, most people should be able to get a playable experience. If you are having problems with your frame rate, you probably had the problems even before the update. And you should probably be looking into upgrading your PC. Oh god. I hope Edvin's voice didn't kill you all. Before we end up this video we would love to hear in the comments what kind of frame rates you are getting, and what GPU and CPU you are using to get those results. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. See you in the next video.